Max in Toronto writes, what are your thoughts on background sound systems in non-listening rooms like kitchens or living rooms? Do you give up all audiophile concepts or are there certain principles that you maintain? I currently have two pair of bookshelf speakers set up just above standing height on opposing walls on my living room. I found I get good volume and stereo separation everywhere in the room, though of course this setup compromises much of what can be achieved on access in a proper stereo listening room. Well, that's a pretty good question, Max. I too have a background music system that is capable of being cranked up and enjoyed. It's my wife's system, my wife Terry. She was insistent, uh, and bless her heart, on building her own system. We've just now switched over to the FR5s, but for years we had the KEF LS50s. And she chose her turntable, she chose our Sprout integrated, and has just recently upgraded to the Strata integrated, but it's her system, and I'm not allowed to mess with it other than play it. And we have a couple of uh, little calf subwoofers, which and it's a pretty decent sounding little background system. And if you crank it up, it sounds great. I love it. Is it true audiophile? Mm. Depends how you define that, but no, it's nothing like the reference system upstairs. <laughs> but it's Terry's love and her pride and joy and I support it 100%. So what do I look for in that? Well, systems that have an aggressive sound to them, and oh my gosh, so many of them are either compressed enough or bright enough or two-dimensional enough that at any volume level, they drive me bananas, but especially loud level, I can't have in the house. I just can't. We had one of the fancy Amazon, I think it was like four or 500 bucks. They're big, high-tech Alexa unit. And at low volumes, it sounded pretty good. I mean, it's a single, and there's a bunch of those on the market, right? B&W makes them, there's, you know, the Zeppelin or whatever. And I don't even know if they still make that, but um, I would listen to those and at low volumes, they sound pretty good. If you crank them up, whew, I, I can't deal with it. I just, I don't like them. They sound two dimensional and compressed. And it always points, I, I can point right to the speaker, coming right from there, do not, like that, it drives me bananas. I'd rather just turn it down or off. And it just, yeah, so that's the kind of thing I don't like. What I do like is our little system, and it sounds like your little system, at any volume level, sounds like there's music in the room. And that's what it's all about. So not the easiest thing in the world to achieve, but if you can put a decent pair, like our little FR5s, the CAF LF, LS 50s or whatever you have. There's, there's, there's uh, Harbeths. They make great little desktop speakers. Uh, any one of those speakers driven by a decent amplifier or integrated can make wonderful background sound and I could listen to that all day long. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>